Hello again, and thank you so much for joining me. So about a month ago I completed this piece, um, which was a small part of an 11 artist collaboration. Over the weekend I finally received an email of the final image showing all the pieces stitched together, so now I can finally show it to you. As a group, we all voted and agreed upon this image of some spoons and spices and bits and pieces. Um, at the time I don't think any of us realised how difficult this image was going to be. The reference image as a whole wasn't too intimidating, however when cut up into 15 sections we could see that we were drawing a very detailed image containing some very complicated little subjects. And for the most part these are subjects and textures that none of us had really tackled before. Now this isn't anything that I would have chosen to draw on my own but you know hey I like challenging myself and broadening my skills so I was pretty excited to dive in. The first challenge was the actual drawing. Knowing that these pieces had to knit together to create a cohesive image, I had to be extremely careful to make sure that the parts of the piece that continued on to neighbouring pieces were in exactly the right position. Now I don't often worry about being exact, but in this case I actually had to pull out a ruler and make sure I was working at the correct ratios and I had the placements absolutely correct. Once I was sure that my layout was 100% spot on, um, I moved on to the colouring. The second major challenge in this piece was the salt crystals. Ugh, who draws salt crystals? Um, they were so random in shape and the whiteness against the dark background was an absolute nightmare. Having so many of those white crystals to draw made me really think and refine my technique of using the white polychromos pencil to preserve the white of the paper. So much so that it actually inspired me to make a whole video just about that process. Although using this technique and having so many crystals to draw meant that I was actively drawing blind for much of this piece. It's really difficult to see that white on white, so I kind of had to adjust my pressure and placement of the salt crystals by feel. Given that a lot of them were drawn purely on instinct, I was actually really surprised with how well they turned out. With this challenge overcome, um, I had to deal with the hardest part, which for me was the piles of ground spice. I had no idea how I was going to create the texture of those tiny particles with my pencil. This really threw me off and I really wanted to give up. And to be honest, if this had been my own piece, I probably would have given up. But I knew there was a group of people counting on seeing a completed product, so I had to find a solution. In the end I chose to use some warm earthy colours and I just sort of created random movements with the tip of my pencil. I tried to keep the darker shades to one side to give the illusion that the spices were slightly piled up, although in the end I do have to admit that I'm not entirely satisfied with how that turned out. This was probably one of the most challenging pieces I have ever done, but it was also one of the most fun. By joining this collaboration I have met a group of wonderful artists who have been so supportive of each other as we came across our own challenges in our pieces. Every time somebody wanted to give up or couldn't find a way through, there was always somebody on hand ready to give encouragement or advice. This was a lot of frustration and fun, and I can't wait to do it again, just I'm never drawing salt or spice again. So here's a quick look at my completed section, and here is the completed collaboration. And I can't believe how well the pieces fit together. 11 different artists from across the world working in different mediums have managed to create a very unified and complete piece. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please leave a like or a comment to let me know what you think. And if you'd like to see more of my work, why not hit the subscribe button? Thanks for watching, guys.